What's good, YouTube? So, got a quick video for you. Um, this video is in response to somebody who left a comment on one of my prior videos asking me how did I clean my jewelry. So, I'm going to be showing you what I've purchased. I've had this jewelry cleaner for about a year now. Um, it's a Magnasonic, and uh, it's pretty simple, simple and easy to use. But I did want to make this video to show you guys what I what I do use to uh, clean it. And, um, you know, hopefully this will help you guys with y'all buying decision. Uh, just give me one second to flip this camera around. All right, so this is a cleaner right here. Just give me a second. Let me um make my room a little bit brighter in here. It's just a little dark. And uh, just give me one second. All right, cool. So there it is. Let's focus. All right, so what I have here is a Magnasonic jewelry cleaner. I don't know the specific model. Um, I've had this over a year. It's pretty simple and easy to use. On the front of it, you have a on and off button and you can set it for a, a set time interval. Um, and I'm gonna plug it in and show you exactly what I mean there. But before I move on to that, this is what I use to clean my jewelry right here. I just pour a little bit of water in there, pour some of that jewelry cleaner in there, turn it on and um, let it do its thing. And it works. Um, my jewelry that I currently have on, it's not really that dirty, but there are times when, um, there are times when, you know, you, the oil from around your neck or, you know, just on your skin starts to build up on your jewelry and it kind of loses its shine, loses its luster. And when you put it in this machine, clean it and then take it out, all of that shine comes back immediately. Um, it's very impressive how this machine works. In fact, uh, I'm going to show you what I do. It's pretty <clears throat> easy to use, very user friendly. This is my jewelry right here. I just grab everything, grab my ring, grab my bracelet. Got everything right here. I just throw it in there. Um, I do need to take this pendant off my neck. Just give me one second. All right, so one thing to note is that I don't clean my actual photo pendant, and that's because it's actual photo. Um, I'm not sure how the photo was actually placed on this um, on this pendant right here, but um, I don't want to risk you know getting any type of uh, bubbles or anything up under the photo, which will you know cause it to mess up, and I would have to you know send it back to the jeweler and get it fixed. I, have, I said I was going to call them to see exactly how I can go about cleaning this and if it was safe for me to put it in the jewelry cleaner, but I haven't taken that chance yet. But um, I do take my chain off. And um, again, I got here. Let me see. I'm going to see if I can do it before and after. Um, this chain isn't really that dirty at the moment. Um, to me, I can see it does have a little bit of oil on it, but I don't think that the video is going to pick that up like that. But um, here we we'll go over here and drop this in here. So everything is in there. You know, just throw it in there. There's no specific way. I'm not trying to be neat with it. Throw it in there, and then just give me a second. Let me go get some. Uh, um, get a cup with some water in it. So I just grab a little cup. Use the same cup over and over. My laundry room. I like to fill it up with hot water. Now, while that is um, filling up with hot water, what I do like to do with my pendant, my photo pendant, is um, I will typically just use one of these cleaning cloths right here. You can see I've been using this rag for, for quite some time, really. Uh, and you can have a look at that. But we'll fill this up with some hot water. And then we'll just go and dump this. We'll dump the hot water in there. I like to pour, I like to pour, we'll fill it halfway. 
and then I'll pour a little bit of the solution in there and then pour the remaining water in there so that it mixes. I don't measure anything. Um, I think there's a cap limit that they want you to use, but you know, I'm not too concerned about my jewelry changing colors or anything like that. So um, I just dump it in there. Then I grab the remaining water, pour it in there. And then I'll close it up. Me, I'll turn it all the way up. And then I'll just press the on button. Now I am gonna cut away from this video and allow this to clean. And then once it is finished cleaning, once it is finished cleaning, you know, I'll come back and show you guys how everything looks once I pull it out the machine. So just stay tuned. All right, cool. So sounds like everything is finished up. What I typically do is I'll grab the bucket or the basket, throw it on a dirty white shirt, take it in the bathroom, and then I just simply rinse everything off, have a quick look at it, make sure everything looks good. Um, so yeah, I like to use a little bit of uh, hot water. It's a little too hot right there. But I'll rinse everything off, have a quick look at it, Throw it up here on this towel. And I can immediately, I can see the change um, and how everything looks like right now. Shit, I should have still had this fuck. Like my bracelet looks a lot cleaner. Like you just get a little bit of sweat, a little bit of, a little bit of grime on your, on your jewelry, you know, as the days accumulate. But um, I'll throw this on here. Make sure everything is dry. Um, so yeah, I'll just lay everything out. I'm, you guys can see how everything looks real clean again. Um, there are some scuff marks on my bra bracelet. I do wear this every day. Um, but that is, again, rinse everything off. You guys can see everything looks good, everything is clean. See that big diamond right there? Uh, my camera is really picking it up this time. Last time it wasn't really picking it up, but I can't get any closer than that, but. Um, yeah, just rinse everything off. Right, let's take a look at this chain. Here, let me rinse it off real quick. I mean, you guys should be able to see that, but I noticed a difference. Um, the jewelry clean I bought on Amazon, I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I noticed an immediate difference in terms of how how much shinier everything looks and it's not because it's wet like even when it dries off you know i throw it on my towel even when everything dries off everything looks really good i did go ahead and clean off my uh my pendant uh with my jewelry cleaner rag you see everything looks really good i fucking love this piece of shit it's so beautiful right here But yeah, um, that's pretty much how I clean all my jewelry. I rinse it off. Um, after it's finished, I unplug my machine and it just sits there for about a good week. Um, I got the machine on Amazon. Um, I do clean, I pour out the water every time I use it. I don't leave any water in it. Um, I got the machine on Amazon. I think I paid about, I don't know. I don't want to give you guys a price because I don't remember. It might have been like 50 or 60 bucks. Um, they do have a max line in here that they want you to stay up under when you do fill it. Um, I don't know if it does anything. I doubt it does. I mean, it's not what is what the machine is doing is creating a bunch of bubbles that kind of scrubs the jewelry, you know, gently and, uh, you know, gets everything to, to move very fast. And uh, that, that's pretty much the technology behind it. 
Um, it's an ultrasonic cleaner. They got a bunch of different versions out there. They got uh, ones that has a steamer on the side. Um, it's a little bit bigger. It might even be a, diff a different company. But um, yeah, they got a bunch of different jewelry cleaners out there. I got this one because it had a lot of reviews, a lot of good reviews on Amazon. And that's the one I went with. So um, hopefully this video is helpful to somebody out there. Till next time, I'm going to highlight you YouTube.